After the Realme ban, it looks like the company is gearing up to launch its new wearable, the Realme Watch. We saw a glimpse of it in the latest Ask Madhav episode. Realme CEO Madhav said was seen sporting the watch. And now, thanks to the recent leaks by of the fine folks over at XDA, we now have a much cleaner look at the Realme Watch. Hey guys, I'm Otto here from C4 eTech and today we are going to take a closer look at the Realme Watch. So if you do end up enjoying this video, then please subscribe and consider turning on notifications by hitting that bell icon. Let's now get started. So before we begin, all the images and leaks in this video are based on the XDA article that we have linked in the description. Now coming back to the Realme watch, it seems like we have a square dial with rounded corners. There's a sizable bezel surrounding it and to the bottom we have some Realme branding. As far as the display itself goes, it's supposed to be a 1.4 inch TFT LCD touchscreen panel with a 320 by 320 resolution. Like the Realme Band, this is also supposed to be a full color display. I just hope that the brightness here is a tad higher since the Realme Band really struggled when it came to outdoor visibility. Moving on from the display, we have a physical button to the side that's supposed to lock and unlock the device as well as provide some other functionality like we see with the capacitive button on the Mi Band 4. Of course, since this is a touchscreen interface, we are expecting a lot more functionality to be baked into the watch itself. Now. Before we jump into the software, let's quickly take a look at the rest of the hardware. The leaks show the Realme watch with different band colors and while we can't really see the back of the watch, I'm hoping that these bands would be swappable. As far as charging goes, we have a few exposed pins at the bottom. Looks like the Realme watch will be using some sort of a proprietary charger with magnetic pogo pins. There's also a heart rate sensor in there and the whole body seems to be made out of plastic. That being said, we might also get to see IP68 water and dust resistance in here. Wrapping up the hardware leaks, the renders seem to show some sizable side bezels. That's consistent with the rumor that Realme has managed to cram in a 160mAh battery in here. That should probably give us somewhere around 7 days of battery life with 24-7 heart rate monitoring. Realme Watch is also supposed to be equipped with an acceleration sensor as well as a blood oxygen sensor. As far as connectivity is concerned, we have Bluetooth 5.0 but no onboard GPS. Now, this watch is supposed to be running on a customized version of Realme's wearable OS, so no support for Android Wear. In fact, the Realme Watch is more like an upgraded Realme band rather than a true smartwatch. So in terms of functionality, we're looking at the very basics. According to the leaked images, we would be able to track our steps, meditate, measure our heart rate and keep a track of our exercise on a daily basis. These are the four options on the first page. The next page has four more options, music controls, acting as a remote shutter for the camera, finding a connected device and finally measuring the oxygen level in our blood. The third pane has again four options, alarm clock, stopwatch, weather and settings. So in total, 12 main features arranged in 3 UI windows. Like the Mi Band 4, the music app on the Realme Watch should allow us to play, pause, skip tracks and control the volume through the watch itself. Also, it seems like we would have remote shutter capabilities for our smartphone cameras built right into the watch. As far as exercise tracking is concerned, the Realme Watch should be able to track up to 15 different kinds of exercises, including outdoor running, walking, swimming, indoor running, outdoor riding, aerobic capacity, strength training, football, basketball, badminton, table tennis, indoor riding, yoga, elliptical machine, and cricket. The last being specially made for the Indian audience. And like the Mi Band 4, we can also set reminders to drink water at regular intervals and move about if we have remained stationary for too long. We also have a dedicated activity tab that shows the weather along with a brief summary of our health. So we have sleep monitoring, health rate monitoring and step counting. The Realme Watch should also be able to store our data for up to 7 days on the watch itself without needing to sync with the app. Speaking of the app, the watch is supposed to come with 5 preloaded watch faces and there should be support for downloading and syncing more watch faces from the app itself. I hope like the Mi Band 4, the Realme watch would also allow third-party watch faces to be downloaded and used. 
The biggest feature though might be that the watch is supposed to come with built-in support for Hindi. Here in India, language can sometimes be a big barrier for entry and the support for Hindi might help increase smartwatch adoption among the masses. By now, you guys might have guessed that this isn't a fancy Android smartwatch. Instead, this is a budget smartwatch with its focus mainly on health and fitness. Well, we don't really have any rumors about the pricing yet, but I'm guessing that Realme would be pricing it quite aggressively here in India. Now, the Amazfit Bip Lite, a similar kind of a smartwatch, is priced around 3,500 rupees in India. So I'm guessing that Realme would also be pricing the Realme watch somewhere around the 3,000 to 4,000 rupee mark. Interestingly enough, we didn't really notice any app inside the watch for controlling push notifications from our smartphone. Now, would Realme really leave out such an important feature? Personally, I don't think so. But then I would like to know what your guys' thoughts are. Also, let us know in the comments what you think about the Realme watch. Would you like to buy one and at what price? That's it for this video. If you ended up liking it, then please like, share, subscribe and all that. And oh, turn on notifications by hitting that bell icon if you haven't yet. Thanks a lot for sticking around till the end. Have a good one guys. Cheers.